Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to convert a retail cart save into a gateway save and vice versa. So for this you'll need a gateway card and a normal game card. And you'll need to have a save if you're transferring it from the gateway. And you need to have a save on the cart if you're transferring it from the cartridge. So the step, the first step, if you're transferring it from the cartridge onto the gateway, is to insert this into your 3DS system. So, just did that. Now let's turn it on. And then if you, if you actually ha have gateway already set up, then, which I'm assuming you do if you're trying to convert it into a gateway, then you're gonna go to your internet browser, and then you're gonna go to the gateway exploit site, which is go.gateway3ds.com. So let's load this, and then Let's scroll over until we see Backup 3DS Save Game. So, there it is. So we're going to hit Start to... Or A, I mean. We're going to hit A to do it, and then we're going to hit Start to start the backup. So, keep in mind these last four characters. So, I already have one, so I just hit Up to override it. So, keep in mind those last four characters. It'll be that, and it'll be that dot .sav on your um, SD card. So hit A to exit. So now I'm going to shut down my 3DS, and I'm going to put my SD card into my PC, and I'll meet you there. So okay, see. so I'm going to insert my SD card into my PC now. So there we go. So. On here, I told you to note the last four digits, so um, you'll see it right here, A-M-K-E, that was mine. Yours will obviously be different if you're dumping a different game than mine. So, I'm just going to copy this, and I'm going to go to here, and I'm going to make a new folder, and I'm just going to call it, like, save, transfer, or something. You don't, this isn't necessary, but this is just to keep it organized. So now I'm going to go onto my, onto the internet, and I'm going to go to 3dsdb.com. So, you'll see this come up, and once it's done loading it, there will be like a, like a, something like this. So, instead of just looking for it, we're going to do a search. So, I was doing Mario Kart 7. So, here's all of these. We don't want, like, any of this. We don't want a GBA. We just want the normal games. And ours was USA. So, let's scroll over. It's the second one from the bottom. And we're going to note the title ID. So, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go to the save transfer and I'm going to right click and rename. So I'm going to paste the name there. And I'm just going to make this lowercase. You don't have to, but I just like to do that. So now so now it's named this. And gateway, it reads the saves from title ID. So now all, all we got to do is just copy this to our SD card. And I already had a Mario Kart 7 save from my gateway but so yeah that's how you transfer it um, from a retail cartridge to gateway now all you gotta do is just go onto your gateway and the save will be active now if you're transferring it from a gateway to um, another thing or to a retail cartridge all you gotta do is just so let's <coughs> okay so here's our gateway Here's our gateway save. So we're just gonna rename this to amke.save. And then when we go in and then when we go into the gateway menu, we're just going to hit restore 3DS save game instead of um, 
exploit, I think it was, to extract or something. I, it was backup. Instead of hitting backup 3DS save game, we're gonna hit restore 3DS save game. So that then so then that will put the thing onto your 3DS cartridge. So that's how you pretty much just transfer saves between the systems. So thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment for more videos, and I'll see you later. Bye.